Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Telusco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial on jQuery UI and in this video tutorial we are going to be taking a look at the sortable interaction which is provided in jQuery UI so in the previous video tutorial we took a introduction to what are interactions in jQuery UI and how they are slightly different from the widgets and we also saw the draggable interaction so this is sort of like the part 2 under jQuery UI interactions and just to give you a quick recap Basically interactions are the way you interact with the web page elements. So on the website you can see right now we have these two divisions and the way you interact with them is essentially known as interactions, right? So in general when we don't have these extra features that is draggable, sortable and the different enhancements, we don't really interact properly or intuitively. So what these interactions help us do is it adds on more features to the existing HTML elements rather than creating a new complete widget or component. So that's how interactions are different than widgets. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the sortable jQuery UI interaction. Okay. So just to quickly give you an overview about what we are going to be doing right now, as you can see, we have a division inside which we have two divisions with the class of cube and I have addressed this class in the style.css. So I've given width and height of 150, 150 pixel background of aqua. So that's why this color, if you want, you can change it to some other color. Also, you can see the color is changing. Let's do it orange. There is some padding and there is 10 pixel margin. So that's why there is a little bit of distance between the two. Okay. So that's the reason how this styling is coming to this division. Inside that obviously we have h3 tag. Now if you watched the previous video, what was happening is when we were adding this draggable interaction to this particular division with this class cube, we were able to drag these two divisions anywhere onto the screen. So just to quickly show it to you in the script, I'm just going to select the division with this class dot cube. So that's how you select elements with the class selector using a dot operator. And I'm going to say dot draggable. And this was directly making our two divisions draggable as you can see. And I can drag it on anywhere onto the screen. So this is basically random dragging of these elements anywhere onto the screen, right? So when it comes to sortable, the order of these elements also comes into picture, which means that when you're talking about sorting, you want a particular order of these draggable objects. So not only do you want them to be draggable, but you also want a particular order between the two. So for example, if I'm dragging it, it should be something like this and this so that cube two is now first and cube one now becomes second, you know, in the order. So you must have seen this kind of features on advanced websites. For example, if you're uploading like 10 images onto a particular website, Later on, you get an option to sort those images, right? Which image you want first, which image you want second and so on. So this is that feature of sortable. So in order to add this sortable, we have this inbuilt method of sortable. But there is a catch over here. Sortable is applied to the parent division of the elements which you want to sort. So right now I'm applying it to this cube, right? So I'm not supposed to apply it to this cube. I'm supposed to apply it to the parent element of this division. Now the parent element of this division is this bigger division which has an ID of my divs. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here using the hash operator because it's an ID. And now what you are able to do is now I can drag and drop and you can see cube 2 is taking the place of cube 1. Now if I'm dragging this below again you can see cube 1 is taking its space back and now you're able to sort between the two. So this is that sortable feature because I am just moving cube 1. But cube 2 is also moving and cube 2 is taking the space of cube 1 when cube 1 is coming down. Now what I can do is I can add a property of display inline block. So when you add this display inline block, these divisions come in inline that is they come horizontally stacked. I'll just change this to 100 and 100. Let's add one more cube. This is going to be cube 3. Okay. Now you can do a proper sorting between the two. I can see cube 2 goes over here and cube one goes over here. I can change this. So you can see I'm properly juggling between the three different cubes and this is that sortable feature. So I'm also dragging, but I'm dragging in a proper order. So when it comes to order, we have to use sortable and the difference is the sortable has to be applied to the parent element inside which all the elements are supposed to be made sortable. Now you can also add different elements. So you don't have to add all the divisions also. I can also have an image over here. I can say IMG. SRC can be images folder and telesco image and right now it is a very huge image. So let's change the width to 200 pixel. 
and it's coming below let's see if it comes side by side there you go now you can see i have added this image and this image is also inside this parent division of my divs which means that even this image also should be able to sort between the different cubes so let's try to do that so there you go you can see i'm able to change the sorting of the images also and the reason why these other cubes are going so below is because actual size of the image is very large right so that's why if i'm using the cubes to sort it's not taking that space so you can also add text you can also add small icons you can add some images inside this parent division and all of them will be sortable so it's not just divisions it it is pretty much everything inside this parent division which will become sortable and you can sort them now there are certain options just like we had in draggable so i'm just going to actually paste them and the option should be going in curly braces okay so these are some of the options so when you are sorting the opacity will change to 0.5 so this distance attribute is something which is once you drag 50 pixels only then the sorting will happen okay so you are holding cube 2 but until and unless you move 50 pixels to the right only then the sorting will happen then we have the cursor of grabbing so this was same in the draggable interaction also so when you are holding the cube or holding the element you can see the cursor changes to a holding position or a holding hand and only when you move 50 pixel that change will happen so that is that distance there is a property of delay also or option of delay which means that after holding after 300 milliseconds only the change will happen usually it is kept to zero we don't want any delay containment parent means this sorting should happen inside this division only and nothing beyond that so that's containment and yeah these are some basic options there are not a lot of options when it comes to these interactions some of them are the very basic ones i will drop the api documentation wherein you can see all the options and then you can also modify the options later on in the code by using the getter and set setter method and yeah this was a very basic tutorial on interactions in jquery ui especially the sortable one so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you understood how to add a sortable feature so you can add this to your website wherever you are doing multiple sorting of objects you can add them inside one particular division and then make that entire division sortable so that's it for this video guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next video peace